good. We're tempted, 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 and we are so weak that we have fallen, fallen, fallen thousands of times in our life already. Even though not by the time we have become teenagers, we have fallen thousands of times, which shows we are weak. You know, supposing you can just touch a man and he falls down. You have to say he's weak. Most of us won't fall down if somebody just touches us. But imagine a man is so weak that you just touch him, he falls down. That's what happens to us in temptation. Some small temptation comes and touches us and we have fallen. Doesn't that show we are weak? Very weak. Some small little temptation. And we tell a lie. Or we get angry. Or we lust with our eyes. Or we are jealous of somebody. And what was it? Just a very small thing. Or we get offended with something somebody said. Small thing. And we are knocked down. Maybe as young people, older people correct you. Small little thing, absolutely, maybe half a sentence, maybe your dad or somebody or an elder brother in the church said something and you fall down, offended. You see how weak you are. Jesus can sympathize with your weakness. And he came to earth in a flesh which was just like that, easily tempted. He can sympathize with our weakness. And he did not sin because Inside his body, he was filled with the Holy Spirit, right from birth. And so, he would use that power to resist temptation. And then temptation could never make him fall. You see, God has made us weak so that we depend on the Holy Spirit. If you read in the Old Testament, God made Israel a very weak nation. There were so many powerful enemies. You read about many, many stories of these powerful armies that would come to fight against Israel. Why did God make his people weak? There's a reason. He wanted them to depend on him. If God's people were strong, they wouldn't depend on him. That's the reason why he makes us weak. So all of us are weak. Some people recognize their weakness. The others don't recognize their weakness. But we're all weak. And the wonderful thing is that Jesus can sympathize with our weakness because he was tempted like us. Isn't that a great word? He was tempted in all.